Hello guys, I'm Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Um, in between episodes, I actually did a bit of house cleaning. Uh, it was a bit foreshadowed from the last uh, few minutes of the last episode uh, that trailers do indeed give you money. If you take them back to the trailer store, you can sell them. So I just went around and uh, cleared out a few of the trailers which I will not be needing. Well, not really right now, including like the service trailer from our garage, uh, some of the trailers that were here by the farm, um, and uh, one of the old ramp trailers we left around here at the bridge. Uh, that took us up to about $23,000, up from like 4000 Not like we're really hurting for money right now, but it's nice just to have the little nest egg there in case uh, we want to do something uh, off the wall like buy a second truck or something like that. Um, in any case, uh, for today, uh, oh yeah, uh, for today we'll be uh, doing a multi-part uh, endeavor. First and foremost, we have one of those, I think from Diesel Diesel, yeah, pipe dream. Uh, deliver fuel tanker semi-trailer. So we're supposed to be re uh, uh, taking this, uh, which requires indeed a saddle high. Uh, so we're going to be going here, taking that, taking that over to the factory, and then at the factory, uh, doing the um, uh, scoutings over here. We have some scoutings to do. Um, I think it was recreation or something. Uh, and other tasks. Yeah, local entertainment. Uh, we'll need to pick it up first, but it shouldn't be a big deal. And then uh, do all of this. Uh, also. Where, where was that last pipe? I think the last pipe was here uh, from, for the drainage that we didn't do. Yeah, okay. So uh, it's gonna be, I'm gonna try to keep it the shorter episode, but uh, this might be a two-parter because we have so much to do in so, well, not exactly a little time, but uh, in such a dense area. Um, for this, uh, given the fact that we're gonna be doing this, um, uh, the pump here, as well as doing the um, the things which we technically need a scout truck for, not the big truck. We're gonna see if we can muddle through with that, pun intended. Um, so we're gonna be tra taking our Paystar. <coughs> Excuse me for that. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Right, <coughs> so we're gonna be taking our Paystar. Uh, we need a saddle high for it to be able to take that um, big uh, <clears throat> trailer. Thankfully, that's free. Uh, nothing else. Uh, fuel wise, I think we should be good, but we should try to conserve it as much as we can. Uh, I don't know how much it will um, use up. <clears throat> For us to do all the rock climbing. Uh, that's as far west as we've ever gone, so let's uh, see what's the best route there. Okay, I think this is a route. It's kind of muddy, but we, we should power through it. Go here. Um, we actually have to deliver it here, correct? Let's double check so we don't end up Oh, uh, good thing uh, I'm talking one thing and I'm doing another. Let's set up the fuel station to take the thing. And then from here, we can go down, cross the bridge. Um, I'm not sure how much I want to mess about with... Let's do the safe route. I'm not sure. I think this would be the, the first high trailer, you know, high saddle trailer. Uh, super heavy sim trailer I'm uh, carrying, so I'm, let's stick to the roads. Okay, that should do it. And let's triple check that that's where I'm supposed to be taking it. Deliver the factory to the factory. Okay, cool. A local fuel oil equipment factory got hammered by the flood. That place is vital to bring operations in the area, so we need to get it back up and running ASAP. Start by getting them some fuel and construction materials. Okay, well, we're gonna be doing the construction materials in another episode, but let's head out. <clears throat> so 
So, I was gonna say that um, when I did the in between episodes uh, trailer selling, I did them with the Fleet Star with the upgraded um, tires, and for sure I saw um, an upgrade. I mean, it handled better in uh, the mud. Well, of course, you'd expect it to, but uh, it did handle better, and but I didn't notice any change in the gearings all that much. So I'm kind of expecting um, that the, the gearings themselves don't have any relation to how much pressure you're putting on the ground. I know it's a bit of a weird thing. I, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I don't think I noticed uh, that much of a change. But I may have been wrong. I didn't exactly play with it all that much. We and mostly stuck to okay routes, but I did take it through the um, the pass of doom here, uh, out of the garage to our right, and it handled itself pretty well. Indeed, it's heavier, and that I did notice. But um, again, the wheels did enough for it that I will not be squeamish in case uh, we need to do some serious hauling with it. Um, the only reason I'm actually not taking it now is because I'm hoping to do the, the pump, if nothing else, and uh, try those uh, rocky local recreation um, uh, a local recreation task. And that for sure is not something I'm going to be doing with the heavy truck. refuel might as well if we're here okay, let's not entirely smack it okay so does this go in here yeah this should go in here oh and i was entirely over that <laughs> railing oops i love big trucks and i cannot lie okay wow this is this actually requires me to go straight in, isn't it? I'm not gonna be cheating by attaching it with the... Pulling it and attaching it with the winch. Okay, there we go. And that is one huge, huge trailer. I think this is the first um, heavy semi-trailer we've been uh, carrying ever since we started the series. So, note the warning, we should probably take a lot more um, a lot more um, clearance when we're turning, so we don't get this stuck in uh, things. And I definitely notice a lack of pulling power. I mean, it's, it is going, but it feels like uh, it's going slower than it should be. Indeed, this is not the truck for it. And it's not even a matter of uh, the ground itself, it's just the raw pulling power of the truck. You think that being at 3 out of 5 gearing on auto would mean you know you're reaching your top speed, but that's not really the case. I mean, I'm wrong, this is faster than most things uh, go in uh, SnowRunner, but... Uh, still, I, I just kind of noticed that uh, maybe it's not really fully applying its uh, power to actually pulling this thing. This is where stuff will get really bad really quickly if we reach some really thick piles of mud. Um, we shouldn't. The road should be mostly clear for us. But you know how this goes. It's all fine until uh, you reach that one segment of like 15 meters of mud 
and you have to drag yourself out with um, winches. So far it's smooth sailing, I'm I'm actually comfortable. And yeah, this is the factory, cool. Let's uh, drop down this trailer and pick up the the quest for local recreation and then see if we can do that. Uh, we are going to time forward uh, because I don't want to do that heavy off-road section on the dark. Take okay, some wheel drive for this. We don't want to really get stuck. So calming, just you know, slow, methodical uh, traverse of this, uh, you know, pretty much night shift uh, job with you know, having these lights just light up the road ahead, slightly murky. It's uh, terribly atmospheric. If nothing else, the game looks really pretty and does a great job with uh, the lighting. delivery right no this is where we're picking up the other thing so let's pick it up anyway and this is where we have to do the delivery i think the trailer will just disappear so we have to bother about actually properly parking it uh wait this is not where i should be doing the delivery <gasps> oh god please don't tell me i didn't pick this up i did i did pick this up right Uh, maybe it should be, yeah, maybe the truck itself should be. I'm confused. I'm actually kind of confused. Okay, let's try... Uh, okay, let's try maybe putting it more on here, but... Usually, no, come on, for sure, by this point, I should have gotten a, a notice. Okay, also we have had to disconnect the trailer, because we bumped it. Okay, we 
Wow. Um, I have no idea. But we're... This actually lists it here, right? Deliver to the factory. The factory, right? Heavy fuel semi-truck. Semi-trainer. Uh, okay, let's... Okay, let's do... Let's maybe get more of it in. Maybe the center of where the truck gets rec recognized is a bit backwards. It's not exactly at the front here. by this point maybe i'm just missing it and it's like a white area you know the usual white pickup area somewhere else hmm, this is frustrating okay let's uh do something else let's uh, detach the trailer something I want to do because I don't want to waste a lot of fuel. Let's do a bit of scouting around the factory. Maybe there's a different spot where I have to actually drop this down. So is this something I can pick up? This looks like a trailer thing. Oh, actually it is. Wow, because it activated. Wow, interesting. Is this marked on the map? Uh, it's not. But anyways, we're doing something else, not wondering whether or not we can pick up another useless trailer. It's probably for some other mission that we haven't unlocked yet. Okay, definitely not back here. This is the entire factory. Uh, okay, is there a problem with the trailer itself? I think I've read that sometimes the trailer, if it's not full of whatever oil, fuel, it doesn't register. So uh, let's do V. Uh, no, change truck doesn't help. Refuel. Um, Heavy fuel tanker semi trailer. No, it's full. This is frustrating, and I don't really want to alt tab right now and check, to be honest. Let's double check the map, maybe. I'm missing something vital. But I did pick up the quest, right? The quest is tracking, correct. The quest is tracking. And deliver this to this. It's it's here. Maybe. Okay, fine. Let's maybe try. Maybe it needs uh, the back end. Maybe the back end is the one that that needs to be there. Again, I'm not noticing any other patterns here. It's just this. And this does light up. Okay, does it not light up if I switch? Does this not light up if I switch the um, the tracking? No, it still lights up. Okay, sure. Okay, fine. Let's let's do the horrible thing. Let's back this up here and see. Maybe that solves it.
back in Sapul, be annoying as hell. Okay, I cannot, for the life of me, put this any more perfect. Okay, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Um, I'm just gonna leave this here, so I don't... Uh, wait. Oh, wow. There we go. Yeah, it, it activated. Ugh, but it didn't... The usual thing, it didn't just switch off or something. So, we did do it right now. I don't know if we've done it earlier, I'll have to look at the footage, but... Yeah, there were the factory went off. Uh, the, the trailer thing. Or did, did it just do... Yeah, I don't know. Either way, it's completed now. And let's... Uh, do what else we needed to do. Hmm, by the way, what is this... Uh, Oh, there's a scout flat bit here with two bricks. Hmm. Uh, actually, you know what, guys? You know what? Let's do something else, because we're almost reaching the end of this episode anyway. Uh, let's come here with a scout next time. I'll actually maybe skip you guys the entire trip here. And pick this up, deliver this, and uh, then do the whole uh, area here. But for the moment, let's head up here and let's do the pipe with this truck, because for sure we need this truck for the pipe. We've wasted quite a fair bit of time on uh, figuring this out, and it's annoying, but oh well. Okay, it's marked uh, for us to get there. It's here, here. Yeah, actually, let's go through here and let's have a look at those spare parts things. as well if we're heading that way. Again, we've had this issue with uh, traders before them actually completing the thing, but not really marking itself as completed, I mean, not giving you a ding or anything. And the only way it gets marked as completed is in the right-hand side if you're tracking it. It doesn't get completed in the actual task list. But I think nothing will... Wow, that is a hit. Uh, nothing uh, compares to the first episode where literally we uh, didn't pick up a quest. That I will remember. In this terrain, I don't think it would have been odd. Oh, not odd. I don't think it would have been recommended for us to um, do uh, that task with this. You know, the rock climbing one, the local recreation with this truck. It really does seem that uh, we should use the scout truck for it. You're stuck on. Oh, you're stuck on a large boulder. Cool. Thank God we have no undercarriage sc uh, scraping mechanic. Okay, so those things are actually fully and entirely uh, one slot. 
Are these one slot or are these two slots? Might as well figure that out. Uh, I think this is a one slot, and yeah, it's a um, it's cargo thing we actually have to use a crane for. So let's uh, ignore that for a moment. Oh, I wonder, can you? <laughs> Uh, if you guys ever played the uh, Mad Max, uh, the video game, uh, the recent one with, um, uh, you know, a sandbox and all that, and you had this storm, uh, a huge storm which uh, moved, just flew crates all over, and you had like this grappling hook attached to your car, and you could, uh, and you actually, you know, had to grapple it and then get out in the storm and smash it over with your crowbar or something to pick up the good loot inside. I was wondering whether I could just uh, harpoon well slash winch uh, that crate with uh, any truck and just drag it over. <laughs> I heard you guys were missing four uh, drilling machinery. There we go. Here are the four boxes. A little worse for wear though, but doesn't really matter. I hope you have warranty on them. And yeah, for sure, looking at these rocky outcroppings. Uh, it's a good thing we are not trying to do this with this car. And yeah, this... Oh, did we go the wrong way? Yeah, we did go the wrong way. Doesn't really matter, we can go around, but might as well see and double check that this is indeed a small truck trailer. Okay. Well, not a small truck, but you know, uh, something you can pick up with um, the scout uh, cars, scout trucks. Because you cannot pick up all trailers, and if you actually look at them, they have a different hitch. Um, again, I've been calling... Um, I, I know the ball hitch, I know that naming. I don't remember the naming for the other one. Uh, it, so the scouts have like a ball hitch style of uh, hitch. <laughs> Uh, like a little pinion, uh, while these have like a claw-like hitch. So yeah, that's how they're different and that's why they don't work. Wow, okay. This is deeper mud than I bargained for and I hope I don't get stuck here because that would be entirely terrible. Let's manually switch down to one. Actually, let's go to low, let's go differential lock, and let's slowly march out of this. Man, such a huge difference. I love it, I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, this is horrible. I think we've been here before and we've had terrible trouble. Uh, we barely got out. Uh, so let's uh, be careful. Let's go slowly let's not rush through and let's stick to these uh, poles so we can actually uh... wow i was gonna say let's stick to these poles so we can actually winch ourselves out but i wasn't really expecting us to get this clogged this fast this is true mud it's not even terrain I'm wondering whether I, I'm doing the right thing. Man, I really should be going via the straighter, well, the higher route here, right? Um, yeah, do we have any... No, we do not, don't we? Okay, let's do this. Let's use... Yeah, that's sadly, that's out of reach. Let's do that for sure. That will allow us to get ahead. Let's release it. And see if we can use our inertia here to keep going but I doubt it that's close enough so we can do this so we can keep our front cab ahead okay, that's good because at that point it would actually pull us into the water which we don't want let's keep this slow and steady 
try and keep into this Python section of mud here. Because ground is a bit overselling what it is. Uh, I think we should be really careful here. Yep, exactly, dangerous water level. Um, let's, uh, let's do this. So even if we do go under, it's only be for a very short period of time, but luckily we, we didn't. That heightened air filter actually did a good job for us. And come on, let's keep going. Easy does it. Easy does it. Any forward, there's a good forward. Great, I think it's safe to switch to auto now. Phew, wow, this was interesting. More of this, please. You know, I'm, I'm thinking maybe by this point I've uh, outgrown Black River. Maybe I'm, I should be thinking at uh, moving somewhere else. You guys have seen enough of this map, but I, I know. I guess we'll see. We still have a lot of things to do here, but I, I don't want to exactly spend uh, I don't know 60 episodes or something in this map alone. Okay, so how are we going to approach this? This seems solid enough. Well, not solid. It's murky and muddy as hell, but uh, it seems solid enough because we have uh, good trees ahead, so we can totally use those for hitching. Let's switch quickly to low gear here, so we keep them at momentum us going forward. Um, can we risk stopping? Yeah, this is solid enough ground. Um, let's go map. Okay, these should go away. Mm, drainage. Let's start tracking this. Let's see where it is. Oh, okay, that's pretty far. And these trees are dead trees, so these dead trees will actually do nothing for us. They will crumble at the first sign. So let's uh, take a detour on the right here and stick to these uh, good tough trees. Uh, well, I was hoping we stick to them in the sense that they are will not be an impedance to us. Just counting on the upright ones, not on the fallen ones. I'm not sure about those stumps. Those are uh, solid stumps we can actually use and they won't move. I'm gonna risk going through the water here. So we have uh, good trees to use on the right hand side. We'll switch to the left here, focus on those trees there in case we need them. Good, good, good. But I think we won't. Man, the truck is uh, making good the job of this band. And there we go. We are here. Solid. That's 3,000 bucks. And 180 XP. Nicely done with those pumps. We can finally start getting things back normal around here. It would be nice if these uh, some pumps actually and really... Uh, uh, drained these swamps, so we actually, you know, have less to worry about, but I don't think that's uh, part of the gameplay. Uh, in any way, shape, or form, uh, it's getting a bit late, so I think we should be wrapping this up for the moment. Um, I'm glad we solved this. Um, we still have, for the pipe dream, we still have to deliver bricks and one metal beam. Uh, there is an option for us. Um next episode. We can get a, a small scout trailer. It will cost us some money, but that's fine. We can get a small scout trailer. We take it uh, from the garage and actually go ahead with it. Um, we'll pick up... Oh, wait. We can't, can we? Because that's a two, the metal uh, pipes are a two-slot. Oh, I guess we'll check out. Worst case scenario, we're not going to be picking this up uh, uh, next time, but for sure, we're going to be picking up the scout. Uh, thing here for with two bricks and we're going to be using that to make the delivery here 
for these two bricks. And then uh, we're going to have some fun uh, rock climbing over this because I think we've spent more than a few episodes uh, trucking around in big things. Might as well fall over and tumble down the mountain in uh, <clears throat> our Chevrolet CK1500. That sounds like fun. <laughs> In any case, if you guys like this uh, episode, please click like, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff, you know the drill. Leave a comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully we'll have a lot of fun. Have a good one.